daiquiris are made with rum, sugar and lime. So what happens if we swap the rum for an awesome coconut rum and then we swap the lime for some orange? Let's find out. The coconut rum I'm going to use in this video is Coco Canu. Uh, again, for no other reason, I haven't got round to doing it. If you've watched the previous video, I haven't got round to doing my coconut rum review yet. I've got four new ones here. We've got also got DMF, we've got Coco, uh, Captain Morgan's there. I'm going to be adding to it and then I'm going to be doing a coconut rum review. But until then, uh, I'm just going to kind of rotate and just kind of use different ones. Uh, the other ingredients we're going to use in this, I've got an orange liqueur, uh, Fortunella. I absolutely love Fortunella. It's more of a kumquat liqueur, uh, but your Grand Marnier is your Cointreau. You could even maybe uh, sort of swap out um, uh, triple sec if you wanted to. I've got some orange bitters. I've got a local brand for me, uh, freshly squeezed orange, orange and clementine juice. That's going to replace the lime. Then I've got some sugar syrup as well. So let's dive in and make this cocktail. Uh, actually, question of the video, and this is going to stem back to the previous video. Have you tried the coconut porn star martini? And uh, what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. Or if you're going to try it this weekend again, let me know in the comments below. And then tag me. If you do make it, tag me on Instagram. So let's dive in. Let's make this cocktail. So. Uh, first ingredient, 45 ml, one and a half ounces of your coconut rum. There we go. Oh, I love, I love coconut rum. Oh, it's so good. Right, uh, next ingredient I'm going for, 15 ml, half an ounce of Fortunella. As I say, it's kumquat liqueur, uh, kind of orange. There we go. 45 ml, uh, sorry, um, 15 ml, half an ounce there. Uh, next ingredient I'm going for is uh, some sugar syrup. And again, I'm going 15, one, five uh, mil, half an ounce of sugar syrup. I've got gone. It's quite thick, this one. There we go. Right, that's that. Uh, and then I'm going for my kind of my lime replacement, which is going to be this absolutely delicious. Uh, I say really, really local brand to me. They're literally 10, 10 minutes up the road. Uh, so I kind of like this. Uh, and I'm going for 30 ml, one ounce of this, a freshly squeezed orange juice or tangerine juice or clementine juice, whatever you want to do, just freshly squeezed, that'd be awesome. There we go, 30 ml there. Then the last um, thing I've got is some orange bitters. Uh, so this is brown. I've got a spritz cap on there. Um, if you've got, you know, Angostura bitters will be fine. Uh, I've lost pipettes. Normally they've got little pipettes. So if you've got pipettes, just drop uh, about a third of a pipette in there. I'm actually gonna spritz my glass after the shake. So I'm gonna come back to those in a second. Right, so that's this cocktail. I'm just gonna ice this up, quite a short one. And then we're gonna give it a good old shake down for 10 to 12 seconds. Right, that's all nicely chilled. Obviously, as it's a short one, it's gonna get served up in a Nick and Nora glass. I'm gonna come back to my orange bitters now. I'm just gonna spritz the inside of a glass. I love doing that. So I'm gonna give about two, three spritzes. Let's do three, there we go. Oh, just those kind of tangy, bitter kind of orange notes coming through there. That is delicious. Right, double strain this. Perfect, perfect. Right, pop that there. Right then, uh, garnish, whatever you fancy. Lime wheel, orange wheel, something crazy, like a, an orange, what do you want to call it? A sloth orange uh, peel. What's it taste like? Oh my God, that is absolutely stunning. Not over sweet at all. Coconut and the orange. I'm going, I'm, I might have to make it with another coconut rum just to see if it's the Coco Canoe coming out. That is absolutely delicious. If you want to watch other coconut rum videos on my channel, they will be popping up on screen right there, right beside me. Dive into one of those playlists, uh, but make sure you like and subscribe to, the, uh, to my channel so you don't miss a future video. And I will see you in the very next one.